Relax, calm down, take it more slowly. If you stutter, like at least three million Americans do, you're probably pretty tired of hearing those words. And it turns out stuttering might not be a nervous condition after all. An acceptable life would be how long you got to live it. If it's painful to watch, imagine how it feels. McGill University had been known to survive for 50 days. Stuttering has plagued John Ullman since childhood. Reading in class or simply ordering lunch was agonizing. I would order a cheeseburger rather than a hamburger just because it was easier to say. Dr. Gerald McGuire can relate. From age five through medical school, stuttering made it tough to say his own name. When I would get a, a call or a page to one inpatient ser service or one nursing unit, uh, rather than return the call and say, this is Dr. McGuire, I would run there. That's all changed now that both men are on a new medication. This is a part of the brain that times initiates our speech. Dr. McGuire believes stuttering is partly caused by a defect in the part of the brain that controls the timing of speech. Those who stutter have too much dopamine in that area. In studies, the drug Pagoclone appears to boost a chemical that blocks dopamine and improves the brain's timer. Not only does it tend to improve the fluency of speech, it also improves the social anxiety of speech. Green, can you name all the objects here? What green things do you have? The change in John is hard to miss. Like I said, it's almost 100% turnaround. Although stuttering kept John from pursuing his dream of becoming a police officer, he'll now have plenty of other options. I think it's going to be an answer to a lot of prayers. Pagaclone improved speech in 55% of the 130 patients who tested the drug with no major side effects. If the FDA approves it, Pagaclone would become the first medical treatment for stuttering.